Wow, what is happening guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Stadium! <laughs> anyway, uh, last time we took down Gym Leader Castle, and uh, now we're starting in the stadium here. We're going to start with the Pika Cup, the lowest level tournament. This, uh, as you can see, there's definitely round two, so here we go. Uh, again, I'm not going to change up the teams any. I'm going to use the same team that I used for round one. So uh, there are our guys right there. They look pretty look pretty awesome. I think this is a good team. And uh, this, this should be tough. I'm, I'm going to hope it's tough. As there you can see, the guy is having a little bit better Pokemon, and uh, that's that's great because shit might get real otherwise. So for up and coming Pokemon. So unfortunately here he is going to lead with Ivysaur. I'm leading with Solomon Jr. And the only thing I'm going to be able to do against this thing is body slam it. So that's how we're going to lead here. And that thing gets paralyzed. And that is pretty sweet. And that's going to do another huge amount of damage. Luckily, uh... Well, not luckily, but... He lived, is basically what I'm trying to say. I didn't want Body Slam to two-shot. That would just seem unfair, really. Anyway, we do get Toxic, and that kind of sucks balls, but not a big deal. I'm not going to take any damage on this turn. I like the music here. It seems a little upbeat, like it... Like, I feel like I'm growing, you know, aging with this music. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Anyway, it's going to lead with, or it's going to lead. It's going to send out Butterfree. And, uh, again, not really too concerned with Butterfree. And that's going to do a huge amount of damage. This is, again, the reason we're starting with this tournament is this is going to be the easiest, and every time the level goes up, it's going to be a, you know a harder tournament. So, it's Ekans, Ekans, come on! They not tell the guy how to pronounce the names. Like I mean, come on! Yeah, as you can see, I mean, this is just like a joke. Uh, I mean, there's only eight trainers here, and the first trainer isn't even using fully evolved Pokemon, so that's just, that's not good. That is not good. This guy's not messing around. He's got a Polyrath. And, uh, that's not good. Again, we're going to leave with Solomon, though. Solomon's probably going to be at, like, our champion, like always. This guy is countering my Solomon with a Cubone. This Cubone is higher level, but it is still going to be slower than Solomon. And that's going to do a huge amount of damage. Give me if I'm not that excited. I mean, even in round two, this tournament and the 25 to 30 tournament, the Pika Cup and the Petite Cup are both going to be jokes. Really, uh, uh, it's not going to get too difficult until the semifinal and the final of these tournaments. And then the Master Ball rounds for the Poke Cup and the Prime Cup. You know, I just noticed all the cups start with a P. Pika, Poke, Prime, Petite. Interesting. So it goes into War Turtle instead of going into Tangela, which doesn't really make any sense to me, but I'm not going to question it. So uh, here comes the Body Slam. And we do score a critical hit, and that still only does like half health, so that's pretty lame. It's going to counter me with its own body slam. Tangelet, not the greatest attack in the world. So, 
There you can see it not doing too much damage. It is definitely more of a tank, as you can see, it only takes like 15 damage. Unfortunately, it does score a Paralyze against me here, and I feel a wrap coming. No, it's going to just go for Body Slam. Good. So Raichu may be able to finish it off here. I don't know. I'm not 100%, but it looks like it will. And it does, in fact, go down. So Solomon Jr. again sweeping this guy. And the second trainer is already out of the way. So we've beaten two kids. That's that's an accomplishment. But now we've got an adult here. It looks like a swimmer. And uh, holy tits, look at that guy's team. How does he have a slow bro? Silver evolves at a really high level. That makes no sense. Oh well. Whatever. We'll, we'll go with this. So we're going to lead with Misty. And it looks like it's going to lead with Kingler. So I do have the uh, the broken recover there. I'm not really too concerned about that. And that does a huge amount of damage, and that thing is down already. So Misty's looking good. It is level 18, so it's got super extra power. But here comes Slowbro. This could be a problem. Let's just see what happens. So that's going to do a huge amount of damage. Slowbro will be able to live it, and Slowbro isn't messing around. He's going straight for the Earthquake. And that's going to be a critical, and it still does, like, nothing. Devastating. That's, that's pretty cool. There's really just nothing that can stop any of my guys. And the problem is, is they're just so overpowered with the EVs and IVs that it's really just, it's tough for the computers here. I feel bad for them. <clears throat> but at least they're able to live one hit. That's pretty good. As you can see, that Surf definitely not doing much damage. Get to the Blizzard, and that thing is going to bring it down. So Misty. Coming in where Solomon left off, and just one-shotting everything. Well, not one-shotting, but sweeping the team. Third guy down already. I thought this was going to take really long. I was kind of worried about all these round two things because, you know, round one kind of took forever, but clearly I don't even know what's happening. But Jesus, look at the, look at this guy's team. This guy not messing around. This guy's got like a Doug Trio, a Nine Tails, all kinds of good shit on his team. That'll happen to the music. So we've got some better music now, it sounds like. And this guy not dicking around. He's going with the Tentacruel. Level 15. And Sexy's going to be faster. And that shit is going to tear open the ground. And that thing is dead already. So here comes Drowsy. So Sexy, gonna keep it going with the Earthquake, might as well. It's gonna do the most damage. But uh, it will not take it out, and here comes the Psychic. This could hurt. That's gonna do a huge amount of damage, and nearly 
take me down, but not really. It will uh, get me below half, however, so if that another one hits, that, that will be it. Luckily, that thing is dead as shit. And we are anticipating a level 20 to come in. I'm assuming his last Pokemon will be one of his level 20s. No, it's a level 17. Okay, so here we go. We got Nitto King versus Nitto Queen. But uh, we've got the EQ here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be faster. And in fact, I am there. And yes, that's going to do a huge amount of damage, but it will survive, and here comes the blizzard. That's going to do a huge amount of damage, and that actually is, in fact, going to bring me down. So sexy, going down. But uh, we've got two guys in reserve. So we bring, in, bring out Alakazam here. And uh, we've got pretty good moves. A lot of strategical moves. But mainly this move. And that's it for this guy. And just like that, we're halfway done with this friggin' tournament. But uh, the four hardest trainers yet to come. So we'll see how this goes. As you can see, it's getting a little bit harder. We're starting to lose some Pokemon. Got a hiker. And yeah, as you can see here, this guy somehow has a Gengar. I guess it's level 20. But this guy's got the level 20s. This guy not messing around at all. And I think we're going to go with this guy, this guy, and this guy. That should be good. This could be a mistake on my part, but we'll see. We're going to lead with Bruce. And it leads with Gengar, so that uh, that kind of sucks. I think I do have the Earthquake, though. No, I definitely don't have the Earthquake. That's going to be a problem, then. Uh, I'm going to have to switch out. So that kind of sucks. I don't like switching out. I thought I carry the Earthquake, but I definitely don't. I actually just carry the uh, High Jump Kick and Seismic Toss. So here comes the Psychic from this Gengar. This Gengar uh, not dicking around. Luckily there, Geller Sr. able to take the Psychic. And uh, we should be good. He's actually going to be quicker, and he doesn't really want to doesn't really want to mess with this. So he's going to switch out into Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime only has 43 HP. That's kind of funny. And uh, we're just going to Psychic Blast that thing. And uh, that's going to do a decent chunk. That is a solid three-hit KO. And uh, we'll be able to get the Psychic off again. And again, that's going to do a third of his health. And let's see what he wants to do this time. He's going to go for the T-Wave, so he's prepping... He's prepping a little bit here, and that's going to give him an extra attack, because I will obviously be slower at this point. And uh, he's going to go for the Psychic. And that's going to do a decent amount. Looks like six. And that's going to do it. Mr. Mime is down. So unfortunately, Galaxina is paralyzed there, so this could be a problem if it does go into Gengar. But it's going to go into Licky Tongue next. And, uh, yeah, we'll just go for the Psychic here. Uh, it's going to go for the Body Slam. And that is an amazing attack animation. So I don't like messing around here. I, I go straight for the Psychic. And that nearly brings it down. So, again, not going to mess around. Um... Uh, I'm just going to go for the Psychic. I could have gone for the Recover there, but if I get paralyzed on the following turn, it wouldn't have mattered anyway, so I just want to try and bring it down. And in fact, I am going to be able to bring it down, but uh, Gellert Sr. has sustained massive damage, and uh, that's going to be a problem. 
His last Pokemon is his best Pokemon. It is Gengar. And uh, that thing is level 20, so that's that's going to be an issue. It's going to go for Nightshade, so that's going to do a solid 20 damage. And uh, down goes Geller Sr. And Gengar's looking good right now. And I'm a little afraid, but we'll see what happens. We're going to Derry Jr., and Derry Jr. has a big ol' HP pool. He should be okay to bring this thing down. I do have the dig. It is going to be faster than me, though, so that kind of scares me. That's going to be a critical hit, and it's going to lower my special. So that, uh, that kind of sucks balls. That gives everything to that thing. And that's definitely something we don't want to have happen right now. It's going to go for the Confuse Ray. That is straight up going to miss. I'm hoping this will take it out because I'm a little worried right now. And unfortunately, that's not going to bring it down. And that could be a big problem later on. I don't know if I can take a Psychic on uh, Hitmonlee. Luckily, this Psychic is not going to bring me down. So Derry Jr. able to live there, even with the special drop. And uh, unfortunately, Gengar is not going to be able to do anything to prevent damage from this dig. So uh, that's going to do it. And uh, yeah, the reason I went for dig there instead of fire blast, because I don't want fire blast to miss. And uh, as you can see, this is getting a little bit harder. Shit is getting real with each passing trainer. So we nearly lose two Pokemon that time. And uh, it's time for the quarterfinal. The quarterfinal. And we got an engineer here. A Mr. Fix, apparently, actually. Not an uh, engineer. It's definitely a Mr. Fix. And uh, this guy has some weird fucking level things here. That's really strange. All right. Uh, but this guy's all over the place with uh, guys. So I think I'm actually going to go with you, you, and you. So a good lead on my part, I do lead with the Nitto Queen, and that means this Electrode not going to be able to do anything uh, other than a double edge or so. Oh, what the fuck! So that thing just blows the fuck up, and it does like no damage. So that might not have been the greatest play on this guy's part. So that's exciting. So here comes Lapras, and I'm thinking this could be a problem. But uh, we're just going to go for the T-Bolt. And that's going to do a huge amount of damage, and by that I mean it only does about a third. And here comes the Surf. This, this is going to hurt. With a critical hit, that will definitely bring me down. So down goes Sexy. But uh, we do have Solo Man Jr. in reserve. So we should be good to go here. And uh, the type difference is definitely going to affect the battle because we're going to Thunderbolt that thing, and that is stabbed from a Raichu. And that one will, in fact, bring down Lapras. And we'll see what this guy's last. Pokemon is. We know it can't be Porygon. Hey, speaking of Solomon, there is Solomon. We'll go for the body slam here. I don't think this thing will be able to take me out. It is a level higher, but uh, I obviously have better stats. And it's going to go for the T wave. That's a good play on his part. He knew he was going to be slower. So, good for him. But, uh, 
We're just going to keep body slamming it. That, that appears to be a solid 3 KO. It's going to go for double edge. And that's going to do a huge amount of damage. Uh, it takes 1 HP and recoil there. And we're just going to keep lunging at each other. Because that seems to be the plan. And uh, I think I know how we're going to end this. It's going to continue to double edge me. And this time it takes four recoil damage. But here comes the surf. And that's going to do it for this battle. So Mr. Fix is apparently out of here. He couldn't fix that one. That was not even a joke. Why did I even say that? Just ignore me completely. <laughs> Let's move on to the semifinal. It's going to be a chick. Alas, and holy freaking tits. Look at that team. That is a good team. That is a good team. Uh, I'm thinking you... I'm thinking you. I'm thinking you. We're going to go with three special guys in this one. And it's going to lead with Rhydon. And that's a, you'd think that'd be a good lead against my... Uh, how does he have a Rhydon? Or how does she have a Rhydon? Rhydon of all is at like level 42. So it, it knows the surf is coming. It knows the surf is coming. So it goes out into Clefable instead. That's a good play on her part. So we've got like an alternate gym leader. A remix gym leader theme here. And I like it. Sounds good. So luckily we get crit on that surf. And that means that Thunderbolt will take this thing down. And this could be the biggest joke of a semifinal ever because I think I'm gonna be able to one shot all of his Pokemon or all of her Pokemon. So it goes back or she goes back into ride on and again we're just gonna surf that thing. And even though ride on very strong, not gonna be able to take that surf. See what is I'm hoping it's Gyarados. Yep. So Gyarados very powerful in this bracket since it, uh, you know, is obviously amazing. Anyway, here comes the T-Bolt, and that is again going to be quad four effective. And even though it's level twenty, there's just no way. So yeah, we pretty much we didn't take any damage in the semifinal. That was that was pretty funny. It's time for the final. Let's see what this guy has. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw something weird. It is a fisherman. But uh yeah, look at this. He's rocking all kinds of good Pokemon. He's got the Dragonair, he's got the Kangaskhan, Machamp, Golem. Star I mean, pretty much everything good is on this guy's team. So, that's exciting. I think we're going to give this guy a chance. We'll probably bring... I'm thinking here. This guy and this guy. Sounds good. Let's do it. We're going to lead with Bruce. We're giving Bruce a shot here. Bruce, he's going to have a chance. And look at that. Great prediction on my part. I am leading with Bruce. He or she is leading with or it's a he. He is leading with Kangaskhan, so we can straight up just go for the high jump kick. But this guy doesn't like doesn't want to get high jump kicked in the face and is going to switch out into Alakazam. This is the scariest Pokemon that we could ever face. And unfortunately I'm going to crash. And that sucks because now I'm gonna have to switch out into something else. 
And I'm trying to think on what I want to do here. And in fact, I am going to go into Geller Senior. And it's going to be an Alakazam versus Alakazam battle. This thing going to set up the reflect. And I don't really give a fuck about that. I think it's going to be faster, even though it is. Yeah, it's definitely going to be faster. So it's going to go for the T wave. And uh, this could end up being awful if I am fully paralyzed. Luckily, I'm not, so I'm going to get my T-Wave off. And just like that, we are both paralyzed. And uh, if we can bring this thing down, I think we'll have a pretty good shot at winning. Anyway, here comes the Psychic. And that is not going to be very effective. It is still going to deal a decent chunk. We do score a critical hit there, but as you can see, the critical literally does less damage than this guy's non-critical. So this is going to be a big problem. He scores a critical hit, and that does a fuckload of damage. And uh, we do actually get a special drop on that thing, and that could be uh, really helpful. Here comes another Psychic, and that again is not going to do too much because of that special drop, so that special drop very helpful. And uh, we score a critical there, and that's going to bring it down to about 21. I'm thinking about going for the recover here, but you know what, I'm going to do that. I have the move, why not use it? I am going to be able to live with 2 HP, and that is very helpful, because now I can recover some of that health back. And uh, we're back to over half, and that is great. I can start psychicking again, and we should be able to bring this thing down. I'm noticing that no one is getting fully paralyzed here, and uh, that's kind of strange. Anyway, there is another critical, and that only does 15 damage for some reason. But oh well, we will be able to bring it down on this next turn. Unless he gets a critical. And in fact, there is the critical that he's going to get, and that is going to take down Gellert Sr. But that Alkazam is literally dead at this point. It only has 6 HP, and I do have... It paralyzed. <laughs> Excuse me. It paralyzed. <laughs> so that's looking good for me. I'm going for the body slam here. I figure even the reflect won't matter at this point, and it definitely does not. So uh, yeah. So we'll see what it wants to come into next here. It is going to go into Machamp. So we've got some fighting Pokemon versus some fighting Pokemon up in here. And uh, I'm just going to go for the high jump kick. I figure that's going to be better than whatever he can do. And that's going to do a huge amount of damage. Over half. And he's going to go for the Earthquake. That is not going to be stabbed, but that's still going to do a buttload of damage. And uh, Bruce may be the guy who's going to get the victory here. And down goes Machamp. So we've taken down Machamp and Alakazam, and his last Pokemon is going to be that Kangaskhan. And Kangaskhan definitely does not want to take a high jump kick. So, if you don't cheat, this could actually be one of the hardest fights in, uh, in this game. But uh, that Kangaskhan actually going to be able to survive. And it smacks me in the face with a Mega Punch. But uh, it's not going to take me out, so this is going to do it. And there you go. It's over. All right, so you don't cheat. You can make this really easy if you breed Pokemon in... Uh, gold and silver 
Because, you know, you can breed that Hitmonlee there to get high jump kick, and you can actually breed Hitmonlee to get him actually in this tournament. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to do it, since the only one you can get in red and blue is level 30. Anyway, speaking of 30, we've just passed 30 minutes, and we won the tournament. Look at us. We're pretty good. We're, you know what? We're amazing. We're amazing. All right, guys, I think we used everybody once at least, so that's that's great. But yeah, that Alakazam is basically the boss of this uh, this tournament. If you can bring that thing down, you are good to go. And uh, that's going to do it for the Pika Cup. So, uh, yeah, we get that cool trophy and shit. And, uh, yeah, so next time, we're going to go over to the other side here and take on the Petite Cup. So I will see you guys then.